Evil people are characterized by being very ego-driven and vain, are traits that the God of the Bible, the Torah, and the Quran has in a huge abundance. We see that the first three commandments out of the Ten Commandments illustrate this. We see that he commands that there will be no other gods before me. There will be no graven images, and you will not take my name in vain. That's correct. God of the Bible set these three commandments in motion. He had ten, but he wanted to make damn sure that the first three edified him and placed you in a position where you would always be trying to seek brownie points from him, where you would always be in a position of subservience to him. Hey man, can I share something with you? You accuse God of being an egotistical narcissist. I've seen other people accuse him of being self-centered and prideful. But let's think about that for a second. When you're prideful, egotistical, narcissistic, self-centered, why is that a bad thing? One aspect is the attention and praise you're trying to garner for yourself is not deserved. You are not the most important thing in the universe. Therefore, the attention you're trying to get for yourself is not justified. But think about God. He is literally the most important being in the whole universe. He is the Alpha, Omega, all-powerful, all-knowing God. Therefore, when God tries to get our attention, it's not only right because he is the most important being in the whole universe, but it's also good and loving of him to point the attention onto himself. After all, he's the best, his beauty, his glory. When we try to get all the attention for ourselves, we're revealed as a fraud when our flaws are exposed. However, when God demands our attention, we are met with an all-consuming love that does not disappoint. That's good news.